Hey there, hey there, oh, there's Jack Cutter Dime, and welcome you to another Legends Battle League thing. This is the third sectional. Um, we'll get to know the knockout teams and all that. We had a couple of games be simulcast because of rain. Night, the 2002 Ohio State Buckeyes, who won that PCS title game thanks to that end of Pass State Barons call, beat the 54 version of Ohio State 16 13. 46 Georgia beat 52 Georgia 35 9. Well, that wasn't rain out, but the, the 46 squads, 2 and 1. The 95 Nebraska squads, 2 and 1, crushing the 83 Nebraska team that lost that famous Orange Bowl to Miami. 47 24. And finally, the 64 Razorbacks, 91 Washington game, that was rain soaked, and Arkansas won that. So good for my Razorbacks. Now let's play. Well, Notre Dame's going to have a semi group. Here's the 77 squad against the 24 squad. 77 squad with the title on the in that crazy moment in 1978 that all the top teams lost just for the actual championship and the 77 Notre Dame team did it. But the 2014 has the four horses of the apocalypse. Leading school on their mother and watch. I don't think so, but anyway, it doesn't matter. The 24 squad is trying their best to win and then probably join the 49 squad unless they falter somehow. But anyway. 77 kick off to 24. 24. To 24 squad. They have the 24 squad. Harry Studer, the quarterback, sorry if I mispronounced the name. Jim Crowley, Elmer Layden, Doc Connell in the offensive backfield. Jeff Collins and Clem Crowe, your receivers. <coughs> and that's going to be three yards. It's good and you know, a little bit, a little bit good, a little bit bad. First game. Yeah, first game. Yeah, first game. Pass the ball better. You may be pass the ball if you can't get it. And they didn't make it. It was second and one, so that should be okay. First game. Yeah. Four yards. And that one. And oh man, they didn't push it out of bounds with that eight. It looks good for the 24 spot. And no! The ball is hit hard. Crowley got fumbled, and it's Steve Huntrader. So the 77 squad just scored a fumble recovery. Wow. Joe Montana, yes, that Joe Montana, the quarterback for Notre Dame. Vegas Ferguson and Dave Mitchell in the backfield. Chris Hines, Ty Dickerson, Ken McAfee, your receivers. And Ferguson says, no. And Havens makes it seven yards. Third and four. And no, oh, it's a fumble. And Jeff McMahon has it for the four horsemen team. Montana got sacked by Jim Crowley. Two minutes left. First game. First game. The 77 squad is going down the field, but they're going to be crushed by the four horsemen. 35 to 8. Six are lost, Hunsinger. Six time Rusty Lynch. Actually picks up four yards, four to nine. It doesn't. Matter. It doesn't. It's a sack. Chuck Collins makes the sack. And they will take a knee. So 35 to 8. The, the four horsemen team crushing 77 Notre Dame with a fine power. Don Miller caught two touchdown passes. I didn't think that the 24 Notre Dame squad could throw the ball, but they could. So the four horsemen team winning 35 to 8, laid in with a touchdown run. Dots Miller from Steinhuber to make it 14 0. And then Connell made it 21 0. Ferguson ran in for a touchdown, and then they went for two points to make it down by 13. But the 24 squad looked good. And we lose 7 for 9, 140 yards. A lot for a passer. Montana and Lich. Montana, Lich threw for three interceptions. Montana didn't throw for one. Who's the better team? Let's go with the 68 Ohio State and 42 Ohio State. So, actually, we know that because of the 02 Ohio State's win in that rainstorm, they and the 68 squad are going to qualify. 42 Ohio State can win, and maybe give 2002 Ohio State the group, but it doesn't matter. The 68 squad is it's actually a pickup. So, 
the 42 spot goes first, Paul Siri Kelsu, quarterback Gene Facchetti, Bob Fry, and George Glenn, your defensive backfield with Dante Lavelli. Yes, that's Dante Lavelli. It's nice. Saunders are in. And, oh, it's a sack. Whitfield with a sack. 42 team, gotta be careful. And they push back for five yards, third and 14. And nope, it'll be 14 14, so it's 42 spot left punt. And good field position for the 68 team. Yeah. They know they're in, no matter what. Team of Rex Kern it won the first ever color Rose Bowl game on NBC, well, the first major game for NBC. Anyway, Jim Otis and Leo Hayden are running backs. Jan White, Ray Gillian, Bruce Jankowski, you know, Starting the first down. And first down. Gillian makes 15 yards on that one. And three yards. Or Otis. And Kern takes it two yards, so it's third and five with 21. Live on the play. Live. Ball start. Offense. Offense. Yep. Almost always. Uh, the 68 squad's going to be backed up by the yards. Three down to. Oh, what a sack by Les Horvath. Now they have the punt. And it's an 11 yard roll. It sounds like we'll shank it. No score, we don't really need to worry. Well, the 68 squad comes their last time out. The 42 squad, it would be big for them to win and maybe help the team out the 2 squad win that group. But the 68 squad's already in, so it doesn't really matter. Second and two. And one yard. And first back. Fourth and three. They run the clock down. They got the first down. It doesn't matter. 14 7. So the 42 squad wins. Jim Piccati with a winning touchdown run with 533 left in this game. So the 68 squad lost. They may have lost the, the title, but anyway, Brunkard and Piccati, the well, the 68 squad was up 7 nothing. Fry had a run, and then they missed the extra point, but then they got a two-point conference. So the 42 squad doing their job and having all the quarterbacks passing for Rex Kern. Next up is going to be Oklahoma, Tennessee. Let's do that one. Oh, yeah, we did the Rocky Top, yeah. 38 Tennessee in the Fox Division. The 52 Georgia Tech and 60 Iowa still have to win their game. I think it's just basically the 50 Oklahoma squad we need. A win would actually do them no good. But the 38 Tennessee squad is up by, has a 17 point advantage. Billy Pess is there for Oklahoma. But there's Jimmy Fox for Tennessee. Going to kick. Tennessee will get the ball at the 23. George Safico, your quarterback. Leonard Kaufman. Breezer, Edridge, and Sam Bartholomew in the offensive backfield. Bernard Wyatt and Jamie Coleman, your receivers. And first off is a four yard for Edridge. And nothing. Fox trying his best. Not the baseball player, just Dad Fox, but J I N O I E. And nothing. Fourth down, the hook of punt. A big old punt. That's a pretty good punt. Hopefully, we'll have a we came back to the 34 at Shields Watkins Field. Claude Arno, your quarterback, with Billy Fessels, Leon Keith, and Buddy Jones, your receivers. John Rodell and Frank Anderson, your receivers. Well, first game. It doesn't matter. So anyway, Jones up the middle for 12 yards, first game. Now, one yard on that play. So there's enough on some third and five for OU. OU better believe they this on fourth down. Let's go fourth down. Keep leave will punt and the ball's at the Tennessee eight yard line. Right? Back to the two minute warning. And Tennessee is crushing Oklahoma to find powder twenty six to six. So they're gonna win the group. I bet. And Pestles gets eight yards, so third and four. First down. First down, is that it? Nine second play. Live on the play. Live. Ball start. Offense. Offense. Yeah, so Oklahoma. So that is not actually the end of the game. This will be. 
This will be so 90, 38 Tennessee wins all their games, 50 Oklahoma loses all their games. The FIFA, well, he ran for two touchdowns. I know he was a strange quarterback, but still, he had four defensive tackles. Great job. So 26 to 6, he ran one in and they missed the point, extra point. Second time, Kaufman got a touchdown. And then White missed the kick again. So it's like, what the hell? Then Oklahoma had it, had their kick miss. Tennessee got White a couple of point afters. All right, so next will be the Battle of Nebraska 71 versus 97. 87 versus White, and they gave Tom Osborne his second and last national title. And the 71 team. Won all the games. No, they won the game of the century. They were pretty good. The 31 squad has a low point advantage. On the line. Johnny Rogers from William Harper against Jason Peter right from this one. So, if the 71, so if the 71 Nebraska team wins, they win the group. But the 97 Nebraska team, if they win, they're going to cause trouble with the 71 and 95 squads. Hunter Virgil is big. Rest 97 will kick off to 71. So the 71 team, led by Jerry Tag at quarterback. Jeff Kitty and Bill Olds, your running backs. Johnny the Jet Rogers, Woody Cox, and Jerry List, your receivers. And five yards for Olds. Next play, five yards. Nope, Kitty thought he had it. And first down. Tag says, I'm staying in this game. I think we'll give her Hamilton in the CFL. Uh, gives it to Kitty for two yards. First down. First down, Johnny the Jet. So now it's a 28 yard catch. So, alright, the 97, Nebraska, third back. First down. Uh, first down. Johnny the Jet, baby. And four yards to Dixon. Touche! Jay Rogers and the end. Touche. The 31 spot looks good. We'll have to go from their own three yard line, half the distance from the goal line. Scott Frost is the quarterback that time, it's very short. Yeah, Scott Frost got fired from Nebraska as their um, head coach. Amai Green and John McAvitt. Look, yeah, your fullbacks. Kenny Cheatham, Shelton Jackson, Brashawn Jackson. So they're going to two tight ends. Must be run. And they got five yards, so they're kind of out of the runs. First and first and green. So I went green does his job. And seven yards, second and three. And second and two. First and Frost does his job. And six yards for the one and four yards. Frost says, I'm staying in this game. No, you won't. That was a good punt. A little dead at the 13 yard line. That's pretty good. The 1917 down 35 to 6. Are they going to make any points? The answer is no. So the 71 squad's going to go El Perfecto. We were in 97, Nebraska's chances to move on to make a difference in the knockout stages. So the 95 squad will also take pride in winning their end, thanks to Johnny the Jack Rogers and his two rushing touchdowns and receiving touchdowns. So yeah, he scored two rushing touchdowns, more than 97, Nebraska did by points. 35 to 6. Let's see the box score. So we'll play. Johnny Rogers with the touchdown run, and then Ratzlaff made seven three. Rogers ran in for the one. Ratzlaff. 
Jerry Tank was six for six. Wow, that's amazing. Twenty one to six. It was basically all over. Jerry Tank knew how to fast throw the ball. All right, so the other nerding is the sixty six and forty nine nerding spots. This actually doesn't mean anything as well. Even if 66 Notre Dame wins, you know, the team that tied the game in the century because the 49 squad was Leon Kirk. The 66 squad is favored. They won't budge. The 49 squad probably would lose first place to the 24 four horsemen team. So this game doesn't completely matter because the, the 49 team knows they're getting The 66 so team knows the oh, yeah. Receiving team. And the 49 squad's going to have to start from their own seven-yard line. Robert Williams is your quarterback. Ray Couture, Eric Selchowski, and Jack Lankery. Receiver, runners, receivers Leon Hart, and the Lakey. And Selchowski so, to the 20. Right. That's a clipping. That's a clipping. Not the distance. So it's first and 20. And 11 yards. So Spangle does pretty well. 7 and 9. First down. Good job. So the 49 squad had that first and 20, but they made up for it. I love you. Third and 15, they can deal with the sack. And nothing going so nine yards, so four from six, so four games by must be. And the 66 squad, well, they went for the fake. But 66 in your game gets a little back and down. Why would you do that? You know you're going to the knockout stages, but, you know, you might face a tough opponent. Anyway, Tim, Harry and Randy will lead the 66 in our game squad on with Larry Connor, Nick Eddy, and Rocky Blyer running the ball, Jim Seymour. And Brian Stenger. And yeah. Two yards, second and eight. Third and six. And oh, a sack. And ready to get sacked by Jim Marty. Uh, the punt. I can play as the builder. Oh, man. Now they're at the one yard line. This is bad. And it felt like six yards and six yards and carry. So third and one, but we'll leave it with two minutes left. So then squad, out of bounds. So it's 29-24. The 66 squad is not going to make it, but they can make things difficult for Leon Hart and Eric. And first and one, out of bounds at the 47 yard line. The third and 47 yard line. Next play is a throw, but it's picked up and picked up by Martin. Next up is a uh, incomplete third and ten over the way. Williams first down. Timeout killed by the offense. They're at the 34. One or two left. And incomplete. Something made by Quinn. And nope, third and ten. Fourth and ten over the way. Nope. They cannot throw the ball in the 6 6 1 wins, but they won't come up by either. So, Terry Henry with his two touchdown passes can give Kirk that they at least won a game, but they will not be going to the national stages. No, they won't. So, Asaro made a field goal for the 66 squad. The 66 squad was actually up 17 0 after Eddie and Seymour got touchdowns. The, and then Barrett and then. Gilado. So it was 23-7. 6 6 squad almost choked the lead. They were up 26-17 and gave up a touchdown run, but then they got the field goal to make it 29-24. How many games do I have left? Seven. Okay. Let's go with Iowa Georgia Tech next. Box division. This is it. Easy. Winner take all. Whoever wins gets to go to the knockout stages. Who loses is out. With the second to the three, the 52 Georgia Tech squad is up by 18. By process. That's what they said. Georgia Tech will kick off to Iowa. In Iowa, we've got the ball with Wilburn Hollis, who 
your QB with Larry Ferguson, Jerry Mahler, and Eugene Mosley, your running backs, Phil Whistler and Bill Perkins are your receivers. And a particular loss. And four yards, 38, could probably go to you. And no! So Iowa screwed down at the point. <coughs> so there's a tackle who will keep the ball at the 44 of Iowa. Bill Brigg made your quarterback for GT. Leon Hardiman, Glenn Turner, Dick Pratt's starting in the backfield with Buck Martin and Jeff Knox receiving the ball. <coughs> Second and six. And no! Back on the sidelines, third and ten. Yeah, they do. They have to put. The guy was backed up to the 10, but we are going to go with two minutes left. That was the ball, incomplete. They would like to score one point, thank you very much. I'm trying to knock down the 52 uh, little jackets. But oh, he's got a touchdown! A oh, flag, uh oh. A oh, pass interference, so Iowa will get the first down. Whoa, Georgia Tech thought they had iced the game properly, but Iowa will get the ball first down at the 38. And incomplete, second time. And sacked by Sandy Soul Trainer. Trainer Bulls. Number 19, they'll pump the ball. They know it, we know it. Game over. And Iowa could not score one point to save their lives. Georgia Tech wins, trying to hand through. Really cool. 17-0. That was not even close. Phil Rogers got a field goal. Brandon got a pick six. They made kick make it ten nothing and then rough and spike yard run. They didn't really pass the ball that well. Neither team did. So logically, you know, this was kind of a shit game. I'm sorry to say that. Maryland and Army are next. <laughs> Army needs a win in this division. Arkansas would love to have Maryland lose so that Arkansas can clinch their spot. The 74 Arkansas squad can clinch into the knockout division. I obviously will know that. Army is going to crush Maryland. That's what they say. 25 point favorites. I know Maryland thinks they're good, but Glenn Davis and Doc Ledger are on the team. On the team. First ball and. Flips to Maryland. Jack Scarbach, your quarterback. Ed Mosulewski, Chet Hedelak, and Ed Fulton, your running backs. Lou Wiedersel and Lloyd Fulton, your ends. And that will make it seven and eight. Third and four. First down. I think it's first down, so Maryland just rushing on the ground. Okay, ouch! I got a save on my pool. Two to fourteen. And that will be four yards on that one. So third and ten. And no. So no, 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 no. Army will get the ball at their thirty-two. Doug Kenna is quarterbacking for Army with Bobby Dodd, Stale, Colin, and Dean Sensenberger in the Offensive backfield with Ed McLeod and Dick Pixar. But obviously, we'll see those two famous guys get to play for later. And then four yards come on the downs. First down. First down. Kenna throws it to Barbie Kula. To the 25. And ouch, Glenn Davis got crushed by Alderton. And. Fourth of the play, third and thirteen. And ten yards. Let's go to the street. So it's fourth and three at the eighteen. Good one then. And nicely done. Coach Blake did his job and now almost got the ball at the thirteen. And no. Ball for cut. Third and eleven. Defense. Defensive encroachment. Defensive encroachment. Maryland screwed up. So it's five yards. Third and six. And broke it up. Fourth and six. They're not going to go for it. And that didn't work. Fourth 
other team will get the pick. And we should have ran them. And we will get the ball. Well, that was a bit of a hiccup, but Army crushes Maryland. Good news for Arkansas. We're in the knockout stages. It was down, but it doesn't matter, does it? So Army crushes at 35 to 7. Maryland just can't believe their luck. Glenn Davis ran for two touchdowns, 101 yards. He got a couple, he got a touchdown catch, too. Great defense. That's what Army will do with you with Davis and Blanchard. They have four guys who actually threw the ball. Canada was the only one to throw a touchdown. Maryland had five guys. Bernie Filoni should have been the starting quarterback. But no, I didn't like that. Army got touchdown runs from Davis and Lombardo in the second quarter. Maryland made it 14-7, but at the end of it all, it was just a pick six game set match. All right, so four games left. Let's go with 67 USC versus 98 Tennessee. Where's 98 Tennessee's in this one? This is the early division, and the winners of these of this game, the 67 USC 98 Tennessee game, will join the, the winner of the 70 Texas Indian Miami game. Closing line says that Tennessee will be the lucky ones. Who is Grace Team Marvin and Dion Grant? The first ever BCS national champions, and they made it the year after Peyton left. 67 USC, you know who their favorite team is. And the ball is at the 15 of USC. Steve Sugg, your quarterback. OJ Simpson starts with Dan Scott. Earl McCall, Jim Lawrence, Bob Miller, receiving. And OJ. Four yards, the ball's bouncing on the mound. Mike. But yeah, that's a ball in. Oh, JSC fucked it up. That's 20 yards. So you'll see when we get the ball to 29. And 6 yards. Yeah, sure, 30 matches. You know they're going to be like that. Nice, they win. Is that a jack for now? Let's go. One yard from Scott. 79. First down, nice day. The ball's loose, but Jim Lawrence gets it. So, he gets his own fumble at the Tennessee 45. And fumble! Darwin Walker gets it. So, Tennessee gets the ball. USC's like, no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, T. Martin for Tennessee, quarterbacking against odds. Uh, Travis Stevens and Sean Bryson, your running backs. Here's the spread, Cedric Wilson and John Finley. Some tight ends. And two yards. Look at that. Oh, what a play. Bryson thought he had to touch them. Bryson's going to come out of the game. You know, he's the game squad. Good that. Team are touchdown, Tennessee. That's the song. My favorite team song. I know everyone says, why do you like this song? It's Tennessee, it's a rival for Arkansas. I just do. And next to points the ball, so I'm down. One, two minutes. Defense time out, so it looks good for Tennessee to run it in on USC and move on to the next stage. No timeout. Fourth and goal. Is it? Are they going to go for it? Oh, that's a mistake. I would have just kicked the field goal. It's 13 points. We'll see what does happen to down the field. 94 yards. And picked up by Dwayne Woodridge. And Tennessee sends OJ Simpson flying. T. Marvin, the hero of 99 yards, passing two touchdowns. He ran one in, but you know what? Screw it. They don't need Peyton at all. They never need Peyton. Looks like he was wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. OJ even threw an eight yard pass to Miller. 
Martin with a touchdown run by O.J. Simpson tied it up. Saga made a 14-7 USC. Martin, the Martin brothers connected. Henry made a 21 10 A fumble recovery by Percy Snow. 21-21. John Hall kicks the field goal. And then T. Martin, the peerless price, came over. Okay, we're going to go with Texas and Miami. Yeah, this is the other game in the early division. Winner this one will join the 98 Tennessee squad for the joy of qualifying. 70 Texas has a three point lead. A team that won, beat Northern Dean for the title in 71. Denny K. Lester and Bobby Mitchell versus Craig Erickson and Kenny Berry. Make one nice to kill the team. I mean, we'll kick to Texas. So Texas will get the ball with 35. Eddie Phillips, your quarterback with Steve Forster, Jim Bernelson, and Paul Brownbushow. We're in the ball, William Comer and Danny K. Lester. And first, first down, Brownbushow. And three yards, seven and seven. Good run, third and three. First down. First down, Phillips. First and ten. Texas trying to run the ball on Miami. First down. And another first down. Phillips is out of that ball. Maybe. Phillips needs seven yards, so it's second and two. Good bat, Phillips. Touchdown, Texas. So Miami gets the ball with Craig Erickson, your quarterback. Rhett Leonard, Conley, your running back. They go with three receivers. Dale Dawkins, Wesley Carroll, and P.B. Smith. P.B. Smith. Yeah, I think he played Calvary. You know? And Bob Shosinski, your tenant. And that will be a seven-year coach for Shosinski for Chet. And incomplete, third and three. Incomplete, fourth and three. So Miami can't do anything about it. Play is Texas getting some yardage. It's 28 3, so Texas will be moving on to the knockout stages. The punt. Miami just can't believe their luck. This is basically a Well, Eddie Phillips leads Texas to a spot in the knockout stages, 28 to 3. He threw for a touchdown. He ran 207 yards. Can you believe it? And isn't he the quarterback? Look at the rushing yards. 429 to 4. Jeez. You can imagine who won this game. And tell us what's the quarterback and he got 207 yards. My goodness gracious, six alive. You can tell that this game was basically over. Toretta had to come in for Erickson. He did a little bit better, but not perfect. 28-3. Let's go with Bama Clemson. 7-9 Bama versus Amy Clemson. This is the Rebel Division. And the winner of this game, the ones are the winner of the Ole Miss USC game, will be going to the Knuckles Centers. It's a pickup between 7 9 Bama and Amy Clemson. Clemson, Harry Tuttle, Jerry Kennard. A lot of Clemson fans before Sean Watson and Trevor Lawrence came into it. That was our main highlight. Nate Stevenson, Tommy Wilcox, and Cammy. Comes in to go first. And you know that hand sign. Usually on the offense. So Comes in will have to get the ball at their own 90 yard line. Homer, Jordan, your quarterback. Cliff Austin and Kevin Mack, your receivers. Perry Tuttle, Jerry Gilliard, your receivers. I mean, your wide receiver. Anymore. Kendall Ellie, your tenant. First down. Further is first down to London. I put my Austin. And this will be for Kim Austin, six yards, second to four. Timeout offense. Oh, Ford just screwed up the play. 
first down. Have to get the first down. Make it to Austin. And three yards for Austin. Holloman is called. It's third and one. Leave. Yep. Four yards for McSwain, 76. Offense. Offense has to call timeout again. Wow. Uh, third and one. Triple and one. Yep. We got the yard. That's what we got to do. And uh, it's a tear for Kevin Mack. Second and fourth. They're running the ball. First down. First down, McSwain. Now they're the ball in the ball and the clock down. Okay, well. Because Potato and gets 10 yards, but it's now another third and that's the third time. And they did it again. For the third time, they were third and one and one. And this ball comes in. Ooh, comes in. Got lucky. So it makes it so it's third and two. That's the first down. It was Chip Austin again. This guy's amazing. First and goal at the second. Danger loot. Second goal. Got it! Austin scores. Touchdown. That takes 10 minutes. Yeah, that takes a little too long. Stegman Shealy for the 79 game is but I know he was on the 78 squad at a different tournament, so yeah, with well, this being like five minutes left, we'll just make two minutes more. First down. Timeout offense. Bama's down 14-6. They'll have one timeout. They'll need the touchdown and the two point conference. Stegman Shealy, James Haney, Mitch Ferguson, Charlie Williams took the tempter. And it'll be second and two. First down. First down. Timeout, offense. Offense calls timeout. At Clemson's 40, they'll need to do it in a minute 10 and no timeouts. And get the two point number. Flag! There's a well on. Clemson. 15 yards. So Clemson's got the ball. Alabama's got the ball for 31 of Clemson. Flag. Pass interference. Defense. Defense. Yep. Clemson. First day. Careful. So the ball is not going 16 with second and second left. Ooh. And incomplete. 34 seconds. Can't make the catch. Oh no, they can't do anything. They can't do anything. Baylor cannot run the ball. So the 81 points and score will be going to the next round. 14 to 6. Wasn't really smart. Jeff Bryant with the Feds, but 14 to 6. Hey, anything can happen. And you know what else. To Clemson, Austin, and McSwain got touchdown runs. Bama could only get two field goals. Nothing went right for them. Our second last game, 60 Ole Miss against 78 USC. Winner goes to the knockout stages. Yep, winner will join the 81 Clemson team in the knockout stages. And USC has a two-point favorite. 60 Ole Miss, Bucky Bowler, and 78 USC with Charles White, who a lot of fans in Michigan gets hate because of this phantom touchdown in the Rose Bowl in 79. Which ended up happening in the Ole Miss will kick to USC. Paul McDonald had the ball, EIE.com, and all this for me at Charles White. And then Keenan running back with three, two wide receivers, and Raymond Bowler, Devin Sweeney, and the tight end, Nathan Ricochet. Paul uh, McDonald's up to that E I E I E. Didn't get a fucking. And oh! Oh man! McDonald had the ball, but Ole Miss steals the ball at the 30 yard line. Yikes! Jake Gibbs, who went on to play for the New York Yankees, he is your quarterback. James Anderson and Art Doty, your running backs. Bobby Crispino, AJ Holloway, Johnny Brewer, and your receivers. And nothing doing. Let's get the Eight yards, third and two. Nothing doing. So fourth and three at the 23. Looks like they're not going for the 40 yard field goal. And they didn't work. We just thought they had it, but no, they didn't. Two minutes left. 
Touchdown, Ellis! Uh oh, it's a flag. Oh, it's a flag. Ole Miss had the. Ole Miss got rocked. Ole Miss thought they had just iced the game. A big one for Ole Miss. No. So it's second and 12 at the 16. Yikes. What a mistake. And I'll do events during the 11. No timeouts left for USC. And now they'll go for a 32 yard field goal to make it 13 to 7. Got it! So now the USC has to score a touchdown. If Ole Miss had fucked it up, it was going to be a field goal. We must kick. USC is 82 yards from Nirvana, 42 seconds, and we'll do that. Got it. Goes down to the 34. I have to spike the ball. And... I bounce, I get it. And... Fourth and six, so Jerry Daniels and Nina Hunter. Fair not answered. Old Miss will be going to the Mondo Stages. Johnny Brewer and his job. McDonald had the best passing. Look at this passing version receiving players. All were at USC, but they lost again 13 7. And they had the first score. Charles White's got a touchdown run, and then Dottie had a touchdown run of his own to tie it, and then pair of field goals. So 13 7. Paul McDonald just. He hates himself. And the last game is the Battle of Georgia. 81 Georgia against 42 Georgia. If the 42 squad wins, it's going to create a three-way tie. If the 81 squad wins with Herschel Walker, they're in and the 46 squad's in. 42 Georgia looks like they're going to make things happen. Nathan Scott, Herschel Walker, Huck Blue, the 81 squad, and the 41 squad. Van Davis and Davis. That's what I'm gonna say. Georgia will kick. Adrian Georgia will kick. And Frank Sinkwich will be the quarterback for Georgia. Joe Polak, Sonny Lloyd, and Robert Davis, your running backs. Van Davis and the play at King are receivers. First play is a two yard. Next play is a one and seven. And only two yards, so the 42 spell must be. And they do. So the England squad at their own 20. But Blue will be your quarterback. Herschel Walker, very young, who's running the ball. And he's got Chuck Jones and Scott Williams receiving the ball. And nothing that Herschel can't do with him. Oh, there you are, 39. And it's picked off by Lamar Davis. He just thought that he had the ball, but he needed it. First down. First down. The 81 squad trying desperately to win. Because they know that a win would put them in, obviously, at winning the group. And then that the 42 team, the 46 squad would get in as well. But the 42 squad can make things happen. Uh, right down. So down. First down. So at the four yard line. So the 81 squad can score the touchdown. Oh man, 39. Tereshinsky with the sack. And interception by George Kushner. Interception. So the 42 squad's going to make things a whole lot awkward with the point differential. Frank Sinkwich is your hero. Two touchdown pass at 964 yards. Rushing. Okay, he kicked the field goal too. So he was the last guy. Last game, the 81 squad thought they had room for everything, but no. Frank Sinkwich with two touchdown passes. Charlie Trippy had one, and that was to Davis. So, yeah, amazing. Very amazing. So, yeah, so that's it. Every game is done. Now let's look at the standings. In the OSU bracket, the 68 and 2002 squads. 68 Ohio State for that Rose Bowl upset, and the 0-2 Ohio State team that won the BCS title somehow. Or in the knockout stages, Rebel Division, the 60 Ole Miss squad, alongside 81 Clemson, they're going through. Clemson's happy. Nebraska Division sees the 71 and 95 squads go through. The Suey Division sees the 44 Army team and 64 Arkansas get in. The Notre Dame Division sees 40, the 49 and 24 squads, 1-2. 
The early division sees 70 Texas taking down 90 Tennessee for the division. The 42 and 81 squads are in. The 46 squad got rocked. Point differential. No, point differential didn't work. Hmm. I don't know how the 46 squad got fucked over, but if it was by point differential, it definitely would have been the 81 Georgia team out. But I think <coughs> maybe the 81 Georgia team. I don't know what the tiebreaker was. And the Hawks division sees 38 Tennessee, 52 Georgia Tech. So that's how you see it. Now we've got to create a playoff. So the championship game venue will be in Missouri. I'm like, screw that. So Missouri is going to host them at Bush Memorial Stadium. All right, so here are the matchups. Do we have any rain outs? No. There'll be a lot of wind, but there'll be no rain problems. All right, so the summary. So it will be the 81 Clemson and 68 Ohio State. 64 Arkansas will take on the 71 Nebraska. Fuck. 98 Tennessee will take on 49 Notre Dame. 52 Georgia Tech takes on 42 Georgia. That's a nice one. 24 Notre Dame takes on 70 Texas. 81 Georgia takes on 38 Tennessee. O2 State takes on 1960 Ole Miss, and finally Army 44 takes on 95 Nebraska. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know which uh, our Nebraska team Arkansas should have faced. Probably the 95 squad, I might guess, but you know, Arkansas could be fucked over, but they might get one of those little wild cards to get in. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond.